Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to configure transparent database encryption in simple terms TDA in SQL Server 2019. Okay, first, uh, what is TDA is it is going to encrypt the backups. Yeah, even though if the backups got stolen, nobody will read the data. Okay, first this command will tell you what are the databases that are enabled with TDA. Okay, let's see that. Currently, if you see the tempdb one and none of the databases there except tempdb. By default, tempdb is encrypted. Okay, so there is a no, 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 why because we cannot take the tempdb uh, for the backup. Okay, even though if you to take the tempdb, that doesn't works. So uh, we are not going to restore anything. And what is we can use the tempdb. That's the reason it is got encrypted. By default, it is get encrypted. In our virtual instance now by that time only it get encrypted if you want to encrypt the user databases today i am going to show that part for the dba database so this is the one of the way you can use the t sql to know that otherwise you can right click on the database click on properties here uh, go to uh, options come down here you can see Encryption enabled fast means it is TD is not enabled TD is not enabled on this database Okay, now to be a safe side. So what I am going to do is I am taking the full backup of my database Since it is a not a production server. That's the reason. I'm not I'm taking that copy backup uh, without copy only Or if it is a production server you can take with copy only Okay click execute Okay, now we need to create the master key. Select this one here, replace the password with your own. Okay, click execute. Now we need to create the certificate. Now we need to enable database encryption key using certificate. Now the job was done. For example, if you are going to trying to delete the master key, it prompt one but with a beautiful error that uh, you need to drop the certificate. If you want to drop the certificate, it will going to uh, prompt with an error like database is encryption is enabled. So you cannot enable uh, first you need to drop the encryption key. So so we have multiple layers of encryption or security so that uh, it will be very difficult to crack this and to uh, reshore these databases. So one kind of security is there. Okay. Now what I am going to do is I am for security purpose. I am going to re to taking a backup of these certificates and everything in a private in a, in a private location. So what is that? It is doing that right. So now what I am going to do. I think uh, they already use it so and old one right and deleting okay so now I'm trying to take the backup okay now I'm enabling database encryption key I'm enabling the enable database encryption on TDA now let's see that see the database encryption was tde was enabled on dba database now if you see this this command also so you came to know this is the tde certificate and uh, when it is going to expire so on the 23rd okay it is going to expire on this year now we need to take the backup of the database we have enabled we have taken the backups so sometimes we need to restore in another instance right so at that time take this backup uh, click script so now I am just changing as a adding one here okay yeah backup was completed now I have another instance with the SQL server uh, 2019 let's see that what are the error we will get if we try to restore the td enable database
okay so reading was completed if you try to restore na so it will get error so let's see that what error error so you cannot find certificate with thumbprint error so this is how we get an error now what we need to do we need to restore the certificates from the first win for that before doing that what we need to do we need to create the master key with the same username and password to our the issues okay one new query and create it okay now I would, this is not required for us okay now go to the backup command copy this backup command and come to the new query here remove this and paste it here in the backup place you need to type create here to na here we need to type from here encryption na here we need to decryption okay now right click on this that uh, select the select the command click execute completed right so now restore the database click on that so right click on this restore device Oh, something is using right so what I need to do is I need to close that process okay and let's see this what are the other process it is being used okay let's see hmm. SQL backups right what I'm doing I'm, doing. I'm copying this to be safe side okay okay now click ok operating system that to the process cannot because here is another process oh let's see uh, no okay so let's take another backup full okay here i'm adding dba2 okay click execute okay now I am closing this window. Click new database and Oh shit, we need to replace this. Okay. Yeah. So, this is how uh, you need to restore uh, the enable databases. Let's see this. Go to this database and. Uh, mm, So here DBA is also enabled on this second instance okay so this is how you need to uh, restore the database 
and uh, uh, this is uh, you need to restore the TDE enable database okay now I will show you how to drop this for example if you TDB is enabled additional CPU cycles is required to encrypt and decrypt this process so obviously there will be one effect on this so uh, so what I will do here is so for example I don't want to enable the TDE so I have seen the performance uh, like uh, so for some reason client don't want this feature okay so that's the reason you want to disable this now I will show you what are the rollback steps for TDE first you need to set the database okay encryption of click use again you need to drop the database encryption key yes after that you need to drop the certificate so here we have only one certificate uh, with the uh, configured with the master and uh, linked with the master key that's the reason we can we are I'm dropping that if other TD certificates are there okay you cannot drop that master key until unless that certificates are dropped so this keep this up uh, this uh, last fourth option is uh, as optional so right now I don't have anything now that's the reason I, I can drop this okay so yeah so this is how you need to roll back the TDE uh, I hope uh, you may like this video uh, I will give the all these scripts in the description box so the only thing what you need to do is you need to replace the database my DBA database name with your database that's it thanks for watching this video bye